Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am KC and this is KC's Joy, where I make videos about dolls, dolly things, and miniature things that bring me joy. And today we are doing a doll unboxing. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Also consider subscribing, hitting that thumbs up button, and all the great things so you can join our family. So I have the box and you can tell by the box that it is Integrity Toys doll because the outside of the box usually for Integrity Toys, what I am gathering is the outside of the box, the shipper is usually blank, except for the edges. So the edges, I am going to show you the title of the doll. I hope you can see that because <laughs> I can't see it. So there's the title of the doll we're unboxing. And of course, I probably titled the video. Um, so this is Did That, Tobias Allsford. I thought it was Ashford, but that's not, that's, I don't think that's how you spell Ashford. Fashion figure, the 2022 Integrity Toys event, stay tuned. So this toy, I was on the wait list for. And of course, you know how we do. I talk and open at the same time, but I think it's down here, so you might not be able to see me doing it. But this, I was on the wait list. I was on the wait list for quite a while. <laughs> and I honestly did not think I was going, okay, so I opened it and it's nice tissue paper here, tissue paper. I did not think I was actually going to get this dog. Um, and you know, honestly, I'm gonna be real. I forgot that I was on the wait list. Because all summer, I was checking the wait list, checking the wait list, and it wasn't happening for me. I usually keep this box. So this box comes inside this box. This box I usually uh, recycle. I hope they're recycling in my complex. You know, we put the boxes in the recycle bin. I honestly don't know what happens after they leave us, but... I try to do my part. So I put that box in recycle and I keep these boxes um, just for if I decide to sell a doll or these are good storage boxes. They're really heavy duty boxes and things like that. Okay, so all summer I was watching it. I was watching it. I was like, oh, I didn't get it. Okay. Right, so life has been going on. Life has been life and, and other things have been on my mind. So, Integrity Toys, okay, I have it in my hand, y'all. Integrity Toys had an event recently, and um, I did not get any of those dolls from, the event was called Seven Sins. I watched the whole event and everything, and I decided I didn't want any of those dolls. So, I'm taking the tissue paper off, and it's upside down. I see that because I'm looking at the Integrity Toys sign upside down. So this is how the box looks. It says, what does it say? Oh, it says Integrity Toys Stay Town. And that is the box, pretty box. So I usually keep these Integrity Toys boxes also because they're nice boxes, they're nice and sturdy. Um, so I didn't get any of those dolls. Then there was another doll that came out for members that was exclusively for members. It was like a right to buy um, doll. And I waited so long. I looked, I looked at her. I was like, do I want her? Cause you have to put the deposit down and then the rest you, when the doll is ready next year sometime, then you pay the balance. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I really do like her. So I went on and put my deposit down for that doll. After I put the deposit down for that doll, the next day, they was like, congratulations, you came up on the waiting list. Are you still interested? And I'm like, man, y'all don't care about my budget. Y'all don't care. Why would y'all wait <laughs> and tell me this doll is available after I done spent doll money out of my budget already? And so I was like, oh, and then they was like, you have until... Honestly, I think they told me I had it until the 24th. So I was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So uh, I got paid and I'm working the numbers, working the budget, working the budget. And I was able to get this doll. I was able to work the budget a little bit. I have to work the numbers a little bit more, but 
I was thinking right now life is very heavy um, with the things going on and I just needed a little joy. Some retail doll happy therapy. So that's what I did. So here is, I'm opening it now so you can see my first impressions. Oh, he is gorgeous. He is really pretty. And he has straight eyes. Man, I love... I'm not a fan of side-eye dolls. <laughs> I'm just not. He has straight-looking eyes. Okay. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Now, one thing I tell you about Integrity Toys, they are really good with details. And I'm going to turn him around so y'all can see. I always look at the feet like, man, them feet are very realistic. He got some big feet. But <laughs> the doll is bigger than Mattel's doll. So, yes, he does have some big feet. Man, look at that. He is very handsome. These clothes are nice. So, what we're going to do, as usual, I'm going to turn the camera around and show him to you in the box and then out of the box. So let, let's turn the camera around so you can see his packaging in the box. Um, and then after that, you will see him out the box and probably on his stand because they all come with stands and everything. So you're gonna see all of that kind of stuff also. So let's turn the camera around. Here is how he looks in the box. And I'm just going to scroll all the way down. Now the inside of the top just said Integrity Toys. That's all it said on the inside of that top. So we'll go back over here to him. And there is a small tag in there that says Monarch. So he is um, a Monarch doll. And inside uh, here are the accessories. And we have uh, his shoes right there. All right. And so this is Did That Tobias, which you know is kind of off inspired by um, Steve Urkel. And you know his catchphrase, Did I Do That? <laughs> so I am removing this part now. So you can see the tag, it says Monarchs. And we're gonna get this open and get all the pieces out so that I can show you all the pieces and show him standing up on his doll stand. Here are the accessories. We have the Certificate of Authenticity, limited edition. We have an extra set of hands. These are the things that um, wrap around the his arms. I'm not quite sure what you call those things, but yeah. Here's um, a pair of socks. And the shoes are fabulous. I feel like IT always does a great job with shoes. And you can see the detail in these shoes. I hope you can see the detail in these shoes. And then we have his accessories. He has a, come on, there we go. He has a bracelet, a watch, a ring up there up top. And of course we have the glasses. We have the glasses as well. All right, and here he is on his doll stand without me doing anything extra with him. Here, he's on his dog stand. And the dog, the dog stand says, stay tuned, because that was the event. And his tag does tell you he's a monarch. So I am going to put his shoes on and put his glasses on. I think those are the only two things I'm going to put on him right now. And just show you how he looked with his glasses and his shoes. I'm thinking. I will say that dressing him was a little bit of a struggle. And 
it's good and bad. So we know this is based off of Steve Urkel. Steve Urkel always wore high waters. He usually had on socks. I didn't want to put the socks on him right now because that was going to be a struggle also. The shoes are such good quality. And they're so realistic that on the inside of the shoes, of course, there's the, what do you call that part? The tongue of the shoe. And so I had to use my little tweezers here to hold it to get his foot in. So that was a little bit of a struggle. But these shoes are just, the quality is wonderful. And um, yeah, the quality on the shoes and the clothing, IT is known for the quality. It's just wonderful using them. Um, yeah, I didn't want to untie it because that's a whole nother struggle for me. But I love the look of the shoes. We're going up. We left everything. All of these are separate pieces. Like that shirt, the suspenders, the sweater. All of them are separate pieces. So you get um, several pieces with this. My issue is the glasses. The glasses do not fit. They are loose on the side. And this seems to be a thing with all IT glasses because they try to make them um, realistic. But if I touch that, them glasses or anything, they're gonna fall down off his nose. They are loose, they won't stay. So when I am trying to um, play with the doll, move them around and things like that, you can see where the glasses are longer than where his ear is. So they keep sliding down his nose. Now, I don't recall, I feel like Urkel glasses were bigger, that's why, but we have two different face shapes. Um, Urkel glasses took up his whole eye, so you could really see his eye through, and I, I'm not trying to knock him down, I'm sorry, y'all. But, so that's the thing with the eyes, they tried to make a cool version of those glasses, and um, I think they slightly mixed, missed the mark. Now, if I leave him like this and I'm just snapping some pictures, it's okay. I can't really see his eyes. That is an issue for me, but it's okay. You take the glasses off, the doll is gorgeous. It's a it's good, nice doll. Tobias, I'm, I'm thinking I am still rather new to IT. Tobias has been out for a long time from what I'm gathering. So he's a gorgeous um, fashion figure. I am, in general, I am very happy. The, um, my only disappointment is the glasses. I love all the pieces. I will be using all the pieces on other dolls, on him, and all them things. I will be taking pictures um, very soon. So, yeah, let me know, did you, one, do you collect IT? And did you get him? And if so, how how do you keep your glasses on him? <laughs> Or did you was like, no, he's so attractive. We're just going to take the glasses off. Because I like his whole vibe. For me, he's giving um, teacher, like his character. He might be a teacher in an um, elementary school. Yeah, probably an elementary school teacher. That's the vibe I'm getting off of him. So, yeah, I really like the vibe. If I could get the glasses to stay on his face while I'm taking pictures and playing, basically. But yeah, so did you get, do you collect IT? Did you get him? And how are you using him? Or is he just, is, are you a collector that just likes to have them sitting on the shelf and look pretty? All right, so thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, let's talk about it down in the chat. All right, see you again really, really soon. Bye.